Sports, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. It is a pivotal game four tonight set to go down. to the halfway point of this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Larionov's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And the long-range shot goes off target. James, you know in practice when you do target shooting? Guess why? So you hit the net. I think he's got to get back to it and work on it. Just wide. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear and they have done that here. Another shot. Oh, what a save here. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. St. Petersburg's got it in their own zone. Takes it into the slot. Sensational stop by Huska. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Rocks him on the play. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Fires it on net. opponent what a save as we look at that last save again james it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck the officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face off here the tune-offs won the draw here in their own zone oh he got thunderstruck on that hit Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Peets have generated a ton of offense in terms of shots, James. I mean, they had the majority of them, but the goaltending duel at both ends has been incredible. They have yet to put one on the board. Snaps it on net. Tremendous defensive effort to crouch down and block it. Great reach with the hook check. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. The Tornadoes will play it against the boards. Comes up with a monster save in front. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Sends the pass over. Takes the shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Oh, he's such a leader, James. I mean, it's an infectious energy when he scores, and the entire team is looking to him. The bench absolutely explodes. Now, all of a sudden, the momentum is there in their favor, all started by their fearless leader. The Peets finally improved their shooting percentage with that goal here in the second. And you can see how happy they are. The body language says it all. After so many misses and opportunities earlier in the game, they finally get rewarded, and that's got to give them some jump to their step. Stops and cold. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 the score. Nizhny Novgorod's won the faceoff. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Teams 
are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And that's off a stick. Moves into the slot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Miss James. I mean, oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's face. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Shot! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Feeds the puck over. Excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And it's kicked away. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. His reflexes on display tonight. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Sends a pass over. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the sentence. Well, that's a tough penalty to take at the end of a period, and it's all about the PK unit now. They've got to kill the time off, get to the intermission where they can reset. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. take a penalty at the end of a period you want to make sure that you can reset and regroup but first things first you got to kill the penalty and on the heels of that call we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice St. Petersburg's won it now they'll go on the attack and the puck banks off the glove Well, there you go, two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to inside? <sighs> two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. From the neutral zone now. Receives the pass. Big time stop. Huska has been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. Coach will be happy. Scores! There it is! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. We see players work on this all the time in practice, and he gets teed up perfectly for a one-time score. The Peets now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush times, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. St. Petersburg's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period.
play continues. Can you feel the love to What a finish! Well, you can clearly see what he means to this group, James. He is a leader when he's on the ice. Everyone is looking for him to lead the charge, and he has a beauty goal, and everyone knows it. This goal is a reminder of how fast the game actually is played, James. I mean, you get an opportunity at one end. Everyone is pushing for the goal. When you miss, though, the quick counter, the speed in transition, and what makes the difference, but you got to capitalize at the other end, and that's exactly what happens. The Tornadoes have the equalizer they were searching for. Now we've got a new game. This is why the fans pay the money to see games like this. It's entertaining, it's fun, it's back and forth hockey, and it's going to wind down right to the final buzzer. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do. And this is an erred opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. They're trying to kill off this penalty. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast paced. And they score on the delayed penalty. They make it count. Well, they do make it count, James. Now it will negate their power play opportunity. But hey, when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Pizza found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum, and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. The Tornadoes win that offensive zone faceoff. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Peets are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. St. Petersburg's got it along the wall. Here's a shot, and that's off the air. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Huska. Moves it to Latuda. Takes it from the right side. On the attack along the boards. They've got to find a way to get some offense here, and they've got the extra attack around with the goaltender at the bench. Takes a shot, and that's blocked. Here's a shot. Oh, they just got enough of that to keep it out. 20 seconds to go. Crosses the puck loose. Just 15 seconds remain. A shot at the empty net. Misses the net. Fires towards the empty net. There's still a huge mountain to climb here, Cheryl, but they have shown that they have not rolled over in this series yet. Well, no, I mean, that was a huge win, and there's a lot of room between them and uh, their opponent right now, but if they can kick and claw their way back to 3-2, you know that their opponent will feel it. Thanks so much for joining us for this postseason action, and we will see you at the next playoff game. See you, everybody.